Praxo 2018 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, the first world strategic and critical thinking, and we have the honor to have with us Cinzia Ruzza, uh, a professor of philosophy of... At the New School. At the New School of New York City. Yeah. Cinzia, thanks very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Tell us about the challenges that feminism faces on today's world in the U.S. first. Well, first of all, we have uh, the Trump administration to <laughs> face, and. Uh, uh, clearly, for example, the um, the, the uh, Kavanaugh case uh, was Brett Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh the, uh, a Supreme yeah. uh, now Court, uh, unfortunately Supreme Court, Court. Me member uh, accused of you know sexual assault. Um, the f so this was a, a demonstration of the kind of climate, unfortunately, that we need to face in the sense that there is a clear attack on women's rights, on women's freedom, and uh, uh, really like a misogynistic discourse uh, going on. So first of all, we need to you know, uh, confront the, the Trump problem and, uh, and the kind of misogyny that he unleashed uh, within society. Uh, but then there are also structural problems. Uh, For example, what? Well, uh, the, the condition of uh, black women and migrant women in the United States who are uh, over not only sexually assaulted and subject to gender violence, but also uh, exploited. Uh, for example, in the care sector, in the service sector, uh, uh, without work, uh, labor rights. Um, so we have uh, the absence of you know, basic services for uh, uh, care. Um, so the absence of maternity leave, like there is yeah. no, <laughs> basically no maternity leave. So ma uh, my, my, my minorities in the US in terms of feminism have a big challenge to get into the ex levels that we expect to be. Yes, yeah. And what happened around the world? So around the world we have a similar situation in the sense that we have a rise of the right uh, in several countries. Uh, Brazil, of course, is the most recent mm -hmm. event, but you know, the, we have a far-right uh, government in Italy. Um, and there is really the danger of a, a reaction coming from the right that is going to attack especially women, or not especially women, but in women in the first instance. If one look at, um, looks at the uh, propaganda, of the discourse, of the programs, and so on, the, the first similarity that one can notice among all these uh, right-wing formations is the attack on women's rights, particularly abor abortion. So sexual freedom, self-determination, uh, uh, and of course attacks on gay rights, on trans people, and so on. So in, in a sense, we are uh, facing a common situation in a number of countries. Uh, and uh, the positive note is that the feminist movement is reacting. So for example, in, in, uh, in Brazil, the, the biggest demonstrations against mm -hmm. Bolsonaro were, um, were feminist demonstrations. Mm -hmm. Uh, but clearly, we are uh, um, we are going to face a very uh, so difficult hopeful. situation. I'm hopeful, of, uh, but the, the challenges are great. Uh, so, uh, final change. Uh, one week in Argentina, this World Forum. What is the conclusion, the highlight that you're going to always keep in your mind of the experience that you have lived here? Uh, the political passion that I that I find in every uh, conversation with everybody here and the uh, enormous political uh, passion of, of the conference itself and this is something that uh, that I noticed also the, the the first time I came to Buenos Aires in uh, in March the fact that uh, uh, people really uh, are involved in uh, and passionate about the determining changes and uh, fighting for their rights uh, mobilizing and discussing and uh, challenging uh, power. So I think this is what I, I will keep with me uh, while going back to the States. Cinzia Ruzza, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.